Hey, what's up everybody? It's Taikina Beauty. I'm here and back with another video. I'm so excited. This one's going to be a international online grocery shopping haul. Um, I bought snacks. I love international food and I love trying new snacks. So this is gonna be a international grocery haul by my paneer. I think paneer, panee, panee. I'm gonna actually test them too. You guys are gonna be really shocked on what I got. I'm drinking coffee bean. I found a coffee bean in DC, the only coffee bean that's inside of the Hilton. And I love coffee bean. Coffee bean, I believe, is only only on the West Coast in California. I think it's better than Starbucks and um, better than starbucks i got the matcha in a large and it was so good it was not too sweet not too bitter it was just right i liked it they were so sweet there and i got me a cookie with sprinkles it was a sugar cookie with rainbow sprinkles so i could not go wrong I paid like almost 12 dollars or 18 dollars in total but it was worth it because i love coffee bean um let's get into this my pioneer haul <laughs> the first one I want to try for you guys is there's so much to go with um, I'm gonna go with sweet first so I've already tried these if you can tell but they're really good these are the crema regional Rageable in them. Came with a receipt. How much? I don't think it tells me how much I paid. I got about like eight things and I paid around, I think, $30 plus shipping. So I thought that was really good for snacks. But let's get into these. I got these because I saw the reviews. They're called Le Bomb Bomb Tadron. So I like sweet stuff and it seems like it's pretty natural because it gives a, it says color natural. So I was like, I have to try this. But I do like them. I don't know if I would buy them again, but here we are. I wish I could tell you guys how much I paid for it. Oh, this is the raspberry one. I haven't tried the raspberry one. Yet. I tried the strawberry one and the lemon, and it said it had raspberry in here, but I think they're just like a dime a dozen. They are good. They're like soft and chewy. It's not too sweet. Okay, next thing I got are Torre, Torres Selecta Italian Premium Potato Chips. I love chips. Chips are so good. Chips are my favorite snack. And I like fish eggs. Yes, that may be gross, but it's an acquired, I don't think it's acquired taste, it's just, I guess the thought of eating fish eggs, like that's weird. I would like to one day become vegan. I feel like chicken and beef and steak, all that pork will be easy for me to wean off, but seafood, that's gonna be so hard for me, so. But eventually one day I'm gonna do it. But I got the caviar flavored potato chips. These ran for I think $2.99. I like these so much. I can find these on Amazon too, but I think they're more on Amazon or they come only in packs, but they're so good. This one does give you an aftertaste, but I don't mind it. I don't care. I like it. So good. These, <sighs> I tried to wait around to show you guys this, but I got so excited that I opened up the box because I knew it was the box and I opened up this box. These are so good. They're the Saint Michel 20 Gelates. So they're thin butter cookies. They're like American butter cookies. And they're from France. They came in little packets and all the packets are gone except for one. I couldn't resist myself. And they come like this. They're so good. So, so good. Buttery, not too sweet, baked good. They were made in France. They have other flavors. I probably would purchase this again, but I really want to find, 
I really want to try their other flavors they have, so I'm definitely going to dabble into this brand. This was so good. I'm so sad I'm on my last packet. So sad. But these are what they look like. So good. They're like buttery, buttery and delicious. Next we have is the Taurus Selecta De La Vera Smoked Pack Rica. So it's hot, picante, pimanita, de la vera. So I'm super excited about this. I love hot stuff. I love hot snacks, hot soup, hot anything, hot Cheetos. I love hot Cheetos. Love hot Cheetos. <laughs> so I'm hoping these are the right type of hot. so weird because as a kid I did oh you open it like that as a kid I did not like hot stuff but now I'm all about it and then I get heartburn and I'm like sad about it like oh my gosh Woo. that's so good so I'm just getting hit with so much taste and so much flavor that I don't even know if this is what it's supposed to taste like. It's not really that hot. Maybe if I keep eating. It does taste smoked. That is what it's claiming. Paprika, I don't know, but it's not hot. Do Italians not like hot stuff? I don't know. Yeah, it's not hot. I guess when it says paprika hot, I'm thinking like, okay, spicy, woo, pop, like smack you in your mouth hot. And it's not. But I mean, like if you want this and if you like, so hot stuff has flavor. Um, and I guess some people do like the flavor, just don't like the hotness. So I guess this is what that would be. I kind of wish it was hot, but I'm not mad at the flavor, but it's like smoked. It's, it's interesting. It's not weird. It's just interesting. Okay. this one because this one's gonna be a little bit different from this i feel like that's gonna yeah so next we have is mediterranean herbs i love mediterranean stuff i'm thinking like tzatziki sauce crema like all that fresh lemon basil stuff oh my gosh i love when stuff tastes fresh that's like the best feeling in the world i just feel like the farm did what they had to what had to be done basically okay it has rosemary on it i'm not crazy about rosemary i think it's a texture thing i don't know i just don't i watched one movie when i was little and it had like pizza in it and then the pizza that they had in there had something i don't know something weird but like that stuff like that just scars me it's weird but it definitely has like that herby 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 going on it's very like yeah i have to show you it definitely has rosemary on it. I'm not a fan of rosemary. But nonetheless. I should have known though with the plant on there. It's not bad. But I'm definitely getting that rosemary kick. I don't think I'll purchase these again. But I feel like it needs more flavor. It needs something else and it's just not giving me that something else. But it's not bad. It's just very rosemary and I can tell and I don't really like rosemary. So I guess it wasn't rosemary, the texture itself. I guess it's the taste and rosemary. Yeah, not feeling it. <laughs> I think I'll give these to my mom. I think she'll like these. Um, so what I noticed about these potato chips, they they have a flavor, but it's not like American potato chips where American potato chips, they have like the sauce and the flavoring on it and it, it's there. It's on your tongue, it's on your mouth. This is very light. I'm not against it because I like the caviar ones. I'll, I'll let you guys know in the end which ones were like my least to favorite. So I'll keep that to the end. We'll do that. But next, I'm pretty excited about these. Yes, you guys, I'm not vegan. I'm trying to stop 
eating ham, like that's the first step is eating pork. I just want to stop. Um, but this is that Iberian ham flavored. I'm so excited about these. I feel like this would be good. This looks like bruschetta, bruschette, bruschetta, bruschetti, bruschetti. Um, excuse me, bruschetti, bruschetto, bruschetti, bruschu, bruschu. So the Italians, they have this type of meat and it's called bru something, bruschetto, I think, bruschetto. And um, it looks like this. So I'm hoping it tastes like it too. Imagine if we had bacon chips. We probably do, but like not like accessible at a store. But I'm pretty sure these are accessible in an Italian grocery store. I'm just rambling. Let's get into them. They smell like a bruschetta. Okay. These are so good. Wow. I like these. Mm. Mm. I, I like these. I can like take these to work, eat these at work. This would be perfect. Mm. I'm happy about eating those last. Yes, that was perfect. So now I'm going to rank my favorite tourist chips since I bought so many of them. I was just really interested in them. I didn't really, I read some reviews, but I just wasn't like, okay, like I'm just gonna gun for that one and just do that. But those were good. So I think the my least favorite, and I don't, don't think what I would purchase again is this flavor. Oof. I'm really disappointed. I like Mediterranean flavors, but I just felt like this one was giving me rosemary in my mouth and I don't like rosemary. And I just found out today that I not only do I not like the texture of rosemary, I don't like tech rosemary flavor. I'm good off the rosemary on my pizza. We're good over here, sweetie. Yeah, I'm like getting the seasoning on my hands. This one I eh, about definitely was these. I expected these to be hot. I don't know why, but it said hot. So paprika hot, so I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna give me that paprika taste. I even, I guess I was expecting like the salt seasoning like I'm getting on here. With this chip and I didn't get that and I just wish it was more had more something to it but I don't know what but they weren't bad they're different they just taste very smoked it's interesting <laughs> I'm like torn between me I really do like these um, I do think these are my second favorite out of the whole brand of flavors I tried this is tastes very like a caviar I've never tried a caviar but I've always tried masago Japanese orange fish eggs I don't know what's the difference between caviar and fish eggs but i think this has definitely exceeded the taste i like and i do like fish eggs so i love this it wasn't too strong but it did give an aftertaste so do just keep that in mind strong potent foods in general they do give an aftertaste sometimes and this did but i can definitely see myself at home just eating these relentlessly like not even taking them out but i do like these a lot and i do recommend them if you do like caviar next these were my absolute favorite these iberian ham it tasted like what it tasted like it wasn't as flavorful i guess i'm expecting that with this brand now but it was still good i may even purchase this again as i would with the caviar so i do recommend these i'm gonna link all of the stuff i've purchased in the description i think you guys should check out my pannier this video is not sponsored so we're growing we're getting there um so i'm happy shout out to you guys thank you guys for subscribing to my youtube channel and just watching me i really do appreciate it you guys do actually like listen and watch and i just think that's awesome so thank you this wasn't sponsored i just found this online i just wanted to try an international grocery store i think it's based in california i kind of read a little bit a little bit up on it um the shipping didn't take long to either i think it only took about four to five days which i think is expected for just average time of shipping in general depending on where you ship from you buy from too so keep that in mind sorry okay but um yeah so there we have it here's my video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video comment like and subscribe <laughs> and i'll see you guys later thank you bye